with the faculty? I thought my meetings with the faculty, uh, from my perspective, uh, I believe they went uh, quite well. Uh, I felt that uh, uh, the, my meetings with the faculty reinforced what I had already understood uh, before, which is that this is this institution is a collection of experts in their field. These are committed people who care passionately about the future of this institution. And uh, that was shown in the, uh, the quality and the incisiveness of the uh, questions that I was asked uh, by faculty members in a forum that was held yesterday, and also by the uh, uh, conversation I had with a group of faculty leaders uh, a few hours ago. Did you say those questions from the faculty were even more challenging than that of the board interview itself? Or? Uh, in their way, yes, because they were different. They were different. Uh, there, there, were, there were some questions that were asked uh, on the, the get into the more uh, technical or uh, philosophical uh, side of uh, academic pedagogy, which, um, you know, as I said in answer to one such question yesterday, that, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I don't have a PhD in education. Uh, if I did, I'd probably be able to give you a much better answer that, than I can. Uh, but uh, I, I, mean, I mean, obviously, people uh, uh, frame questions with reference to uh, their own area of expertise. So uh, it was a perfectly fair question. Uh, but no, I felt that uh, I felt the questions. The questions showed how very much uh, uh, how very much on top of it this faculty is in terms of doing uh, uh, carrying out the core academic mission of the college. Their objections to to your candidacy have been pretty obvious in a number of ways. How would you overcome if you were, if you didn't have the position? How would you get this important constituency behind you? I think uh, I think in a couple of uh, different ways, but they're all related to one uh, broad approach, and that is I referred earlier to the need for uh, and the experience, the universal experience of new presidents of community colleges, regardless of their background, regardless of uh, uh, the nature of the search that was. Uh, uh, conducted that led to their appointment, they all, every one, has to go through a period of building relationships with the individuals who are the, uh, comprise the core constituencies of the college. That is important for a number of different reasons. Uh, it's important for the specific reason that uh, your question contemplates, which is being able to uh, uh, to build trust and win acceptance. All college presidents go through that. It's also important because it it's necessary in order for the president of the institution to be able to function effectively in the context of the unique governance of academic institutions. I mean, a college, an academic institution, this is not the corporate world. This is not a world in which leadership is the top-down command structure of the CEO in a uh, business organization. The academic institution is an institution that is uh, characterized first and foremost in its operation by the concept of shared governance. With, you know, I referred to the faculty as experts. The other key constituencies of this institution are also experts and it is shared governance with diffused decision making through consultation with all of the uh, core constituencies of experts who comprise the college community. So that function of building confidence and building trust is something that inevitably has to happen if you are merely to run the institution along the lines of the model and the way it's uh, set up to run. So that's something that takes uh, that is something that takes time. I, in in my, my, my research into the uh, academic presidency, I was uh, one of the uh, uh, people I read about was a man named Walter Massey, who stepped down last year as president of Morehouse College. Um, Massey had, uh, uh, was an alumnus of Morehouse with a sterling academic record when he was chosen to be its president, I think back around 1995. And yet even as an alumnus and even with his record, Massey said that when he arrived at Morehouse as its president, it took him about two to three years to be able to feel comfortable himself and uh, that he had built those relationships of uh, confidence and trust. Why? Because as a, uh, a Southern college, he found that uh, when he went back to his alma mater, 
people looked at his experience having been at, uh, in northern institutions exclusively, in research universities, and with the federal government. And there was a period of questioning for him, even though on paper he seemed a perfect fit, just as there is for every other president uh, for their period of acclimatization into the college environment. So um, what your question contemplates is something that's necessary for any president coming into a new, uh, any new president coming into a college. Based on your experiences uh, in the county government, are there any particular steps or ways that you went about that originally you feel would apply to something like this, bridging that gap between what you have and what you're used to and the faculty here? Uh, well, I, I do in the following sense. And I guess, once again, it comes down to the question of relationships. Um, uh, during the time I served in government, uh, for part of that time, I served as the uh, leader, as the uh, leader of the legislature and the uh, leader of the caucus. And uh, as with any uh, parliamentary body, any legislative body, nothing gets done unless you get the votes you need to pass something. And so I've described my, uh, my job as the leader of the county legislature as uh, the constant uh, daily forging of connections with uh, at least, on all occasions and for every vote, at least 15 other legislators, every one of whom had an agenda and an ego and uh, who I needed to be able to build a relationship of trust with from issue to issue and from day to day. So I think to that extent the, um, uh, the ability to be able to uh, get along with people and to, uh, uh, to dialogue in that manner would be something that would serve me in good stead in building the relationships that are necessary both internally and externally for the uh, president of the college. 